Well, Anthony Accardo lived a charm life. He never served one day in prison. By 1992, most of Tony's contemporaries were either dead or serving lengthy prison sentences. Tony himself had been suffering from heart disease. When word got out that Tony Accardo was very seriously ill, it was a death watch. All the media was at the hospital waiting each day for a development. On May 27th, 1992, at the age of 86, Tony Accardo was taken off life support and died of congestive heart failure. His death marked the end of the Capone era gangsters. Being a CEO of an organization, you're dealing with killers, thieves, drug dealers, and yet being able to command respect from them and not have them say, hey, we can take the old man out, because it's happened for generations in organized crime. Nobody came after Tony Accardo, none of his own. It was really his mental acumen that saw him through these myriad of hurdles. I think we can just wonder how far he might have progressed if he had not chosen crime as an occupation. He was never jailed. There was never any attempts on his life. And he was the leader of the most powerful mob in America. Nobody else can say that. Tony Accardo had achieved something very rare among mobsters. He died.